Hello, the goof here. I wanted to talk about something I read recently. Miyamoto, during E3, they, they, they were calling the new Zelda for Wii U, they were calling it open world. But he says he doesn't really like the term. He says it's vast, but it's not open world. And I sat back and I wondered, does he even realize that that got people excited? People were looking forward to an open world Zelda experience. People wanted that. And what does he do? He comes out and opens his mouth and... I like Miyamoto. I do. I look up to him a lot when it comes to, 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 to what he does. And I wanted to be like him at one point. I wanted to make video games. I was, was passionate about it. I was trying to learn all kinds of things. But when you're ADD, that's kind of one of the reasons I stop and pause a lot in my videos. Back to what I was saying. People were excited because they thought it was open world. But he opens his mouth and he says, It's vast, but I would really call it open world. My reaction is, if it's open world, it's open world. If I can get out into a large, large area, like the entire landscape, and travel anywhere without a transition, unless it's like, you know, transitioning from night to day or something like that, which it probably will. But unless, unless you know, if, if it's not like that, if you're constantly going from one portion of a field to another portion of a field, even though you're always outside, then no, it's not open world. But if it is open world and that it's just, like I said, vast, like you played Skyrim, I don't know if you have, but if you have, it's vast. You get out into it, you can pretty much walk anywhere. Doing something is a different story, just because you just because you get somewhere doesn't mean you can do anything there if it's not your objective. But open world is like that. Now, if this new Zelda is like that, awesome! But he opens his mouth and he says this stuff, and it makes me leery. It makes me step back and go, Ooh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it makes me just back up and just... It makes me not as excited. It makes me not... Because then I'm like, well, maybe it's not really open world. I was excited for that fact, but now I don't know. I mean, of course, a lot of people will blindly follow Nintendo lead, and they'll blindly just buy it, and they'll blindly just enjoy it. I'm not like that. <laughs> not like that at all. That's why, I mean, you can call me a Nintendo fanboy all you want, but I'm very, I question Nintendo constantly. If they do something wrong, I call them out on it. If they do something right, I applaud them. Same thing with any company. If Sony did something right, I'd applaud them. If they did something wrong, I would call them out on it. I would call, you know, I'm like this with every company. Uh, that's like them not buying Crash Bandicoot. I want to just... I have a lot I would like to say about that. They need to get him back. They need to have some mascots. They need to have something that, that makes them more familiar to families. That's the other thing. Families... Maybe they just don't want that. Maybe they just want the core gamer. I don't know. Microsoft. Maybe that Green X is their mascot. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, not a whole lot to say about Microsoft. But back to you know the topic at hand. Now, this video won't be very long at all. <laughs> not long at all. I'm just. I just wanted to get this out. I mean, it's not open world. It's vast. I don't know. It sounds open world. I might still... I'll probably end up waiting and seeing the reviews, basically. seeing and, and I don't watch reviews to get somebody's opinion on a game. I watch it to get a better idea of what the game is like. That's it. I, I don't give two craps what somebody who reviews a game has to say about it. Because nine times out of ten, critics don't know their butts from a hole in the ground. They've got no clue. No clue at all. They'll sit there and they'll say, "Oh, it's bad." There's two games. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna specifically talk about IGN. There was two games. They came out and they were just given a horrible, a horrible rating, a horrible score. And uh, I played them and I loved them. Two games that I can call offhand right now, and that's Double Dragon Neon and Sonic Lost World. Lost World, yeah. I played the hell out of Lost World. Beat it. I keep playing it now and then just to collect things and see how 
how much I can get and how far I can get. And I love the DLC. I wish they'd make some more DLC. I like the uh, the, the Hyrule or the Legend of Zelda zone. And I wish it would have been more vast and bigger and maybe a little more exploration, but it wasn't. But that's okay. It was it was nicely done. But I love that game. Double Dragon Neon, there was nothing wrong with it. Gameplay was spot on to me. Music was spot on. It wasn't terribly difficult, but it was a challenge. The music was awesome. IGN's complaint was it's they play too much on the nostalgia for the 80s factor, yada, yada, yada. It was really stupid, and I'm sorry, IGN. I, I know that's probably going to tick you off, but you need to really rethink your reviews of something. Sitting there and judging a game based on a style it's going with is kind of stupid. Sorry, it is. That's why I form my own opinion. And that's why I'm going to wait for the new Zelda for Wii U. Not really for the reviews, not to see how they feel about it, but just to see what the game is going to be like, you know. Maybe. That's, what, that's what's good about YouTube, and I wish Nintendo would realize this and stop sticking there. I love you, Nintendo, but stop doing some of the things you do. You do some things that I just, like I said, I, I, I call you out on it. And this is one thing particular, your, 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 your constant putting yourself into the whole YouTube thing. With it. Now, I can understand if you set forth some rules, and you should set forth some, forth some rules, basically saying you can't give away key elements of the game. You can maybe play some of the stages here and there that you want to show. Don't show a key storyline or key plot elements. Leave that alone. You should. I mean, if you sit there and set out some ground rules and said, these things are just going to ruin the game for other people, and they're not probably not going to buy it, then... I can understand that, but you butt your nose in, you start making your own partner program, and please don't hate me, Nintendo. Please don't hate me. I'm just, I don't follow blindly. I love you dearly. My, my, my first console I ever played was an NES. The second console was actually an Atari. The first console I ever owned was a Sega Master System. I miss that Sega Master System. Uh, Fantasy Star was the shiznit. The very first fan. I'm a huge fan of Star fan. I have one video on my channel. It's it's gameplay of, of a fan game I was working on. But yeah. I don't want this video to go on too long. I'm ranting. That's not good. Not good to talk today. So that is another. That is a wrap. So uh, yeah. have a good one. Bye.